Hi everyone, welcome to Greg's Whiskey Guide channel. Um, this is uh, number two of uh, the exploration of the Benviach in my collection. Number one was the biggest, longest video because I have to explain the uh, background of the Benviach distillery. So we're talking, of course, of a Speyside Scottish single malt distillery. Um, so last time I explained what was the distillery, the, the background and the uh, these different expressions I have in my collection. I also explained the uh, rebranding that uh, is currently happening now and I showed a picture of um, what it looks like so if you want to know more about the rebranding and more about the distillery please check out my video uh, and you will find the link below in the description okay so now we're gonna taste something very special in my collection i believe uh, something you still can find uh, secondary market or uh, end of a collection dusty shelves etc around 130 alas uh, euros um, I had the chance to get this uh, through a friend this is 2015 right release um, through a friend at around 70 uh, 70 75 euros something like that 75 and a half uh, back in 2017 but it was uh, 2015 release so this one is the uh, second edition of uh, heavily pitted port finish first one was a 15 years old and this is a replacement but uh, it is sold out now and i don't know if the new range will incorporate this kind of reference most probably in limited editions but for now there there isn't um, so like i said second edition heavily pitted port finish solstice uh, part of the uh, malt has been made on site uh, but it's only a tiny amount uh, it says it Unlock the secret heavily pitted port finish. Um, yeah, so there's not every information you should expect from this kind of bottling um, on the label and even online, unfortunately. So after my searches, I only found it was a first fill ex bourbon barrels for the main maturation and then finished in heavy in um, port finish tawny port finish so minimum two years most probably uh, much more uh, of that this is apparently chill filtered and colored but this is just a guess this is not an information because i don't know exactly about it and it is not written anywhere uh, However, the uh, ABV is of 50%, which is something quite rare in this kind of a pseudo core range, if I may say. Um, it's still limited, but I don't know to how many bottles. Um, but you, at this time, you, you could find it. I had it presented within the core range in a masterclass um, five years ago maybe uh, so that is how i got convinced to uh, buy it and i waited until i had an opportunity uh, to get it at 75 euros while uh, now it is sold rather uh, it was sold at that time at 91 95 euros uh, and now, like I said, uh, if you see on Whiskey Page, for instance, the, the lowest price is around 130. Is it still a good value at that price? I'm not sure. At the price I paid, oh yes. At 100 euros, yes. Uh, 
now 17 euros 50 percent abv with something very flavorful uh, if you are in the capacity of making a bit more money uh, uh, you won't regret it uh, if you are taking care of buying several bottles and have a choice and not spend too much in a single whiskey maybe it's not the best choice to do okay right so what can i say more about this one uh, the color is absolutely incredible but like i said we don't know if it is uh, the genuine one um, now like i often say the color in the glass isn't exactly it's a bit uh less uh, it's a bit less dark uh, it's clearer the legs here i poured in two times so the legs are sticking i you would probably know sticking a lot in the in the in the middle of the glass and even a bit on top it's it's quite spectacular but I'm afraid my camera cannot oh a bit yes show it to you maybe yeah so sticking uh, it it's a thick whiskey it's an intense dense but still approachable whiskey it's uh, it's strongly flavorful on the nose Ooh, I like this one <laughs> a lot on the note the combination of the heavily port heavily pitted sorry and the port finish this is well said because in fact this is exactly what's happening so a huge impact of the port with a lot of uh, fruits a lot of tea a lot of flowers but at the same time warm peat uh, ashy continental mainland dish if i may say peat so uh, drier than in isla yeah so this is beautiful because uh, there's some kind of bonfire ashy smoke chimney smoke that's really wrapping all the fruits together uh, the candied fruits the, the syrup fruits that you have in tin cans and metal cans um, you see in my notes yeah some ripe fruit including uh, some red fruit um, blackberries uh, um, lot, lots of things going on peaches apricots but ripe everything ripe but still very uh, warm and uh, comforting a bit like if they were uh, baked in, in, a, in a big uh, content uh, you know baked fruits Yes, a beautiful smoke, long, long, uh, very expressive, and then also black tea, a slightly green tea, all grey tea. Um, so very rich, very uh, comforting nose already. Now on the palate. I put words in this <laughs> because you have to um, know what I feel about it so the entry is thick it coats the mouth everywhere um, fills the palate the warm is it is not as much warm it comes across in fact much sweeter than you could think for 50% ABV it's only right at the end at the finish that you have this a bit peppery slightly chili uh, spices coming on and it's long it's very long on the palate and it's what it was on the first sip 50 percent abv for this expression is absolutely perfect on point this is a uh, really great had it been at 58 60 maybe it would had to be um, watered down with a few drops of water or a big dash of water 
40% would have been too low, 43 maybe as well. 50 is absolutely perfect for this expression, I have to say. Let's get it on again. Getting back to it. Getting back. There's some probably some chocolate, dark chocolate. But also kind of milk chocolate on the background. Dark chocolate come first. Some raisins. Um, there's a lot going on, but the, everything is beautifully melted, very beautiful crafted. Uh, this is, by the way, um, let me show you the beautiful box in two parts. And it says, no, it's on the other side. Heavily pitted board finish, second edition. And it is a Billy Walker, of course, selection. Before it got to Glen Alaki. And these you can find also his official notes, which I'm not going to read here. Uh, I'm going to, I haven't read it uh, recently, so I want to stick to my impressions. Um, so yeah, beautiful box, solid cardboard. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I just noticed a detail. Apologies, haven't been able to state it before. And I because it's a very uh, tiny and clear written i don't know if the focus can happen here it says non-chill filtered natural color fantastic so <laughs> just because i was doing the review otherwise i didn't notice it it's so fantastic okay Let's try another one before I put some water in it. Yeah, the, the tea-ish, over-infused tea, plus some black tea, slightly some green tea, and not really bergamot, but kind of all gray, a bit more infused than usual as well. There's some leather, some licorice as well now. There I say the finish has a bit of bonfire-ish Lagavulin 16 finish, and it has a bit of bit in common on the dry side of the of the smoke but it is absolutely gorgeous the, the, the palette is still wrapped there's still some smoke it lasts uh, quite some time i'm gonna try it with a dash of water sorry and then i tell you after one two three four pours my rating the rating started at 91 and it has increased, I have to tell you. Hmm. <laughs> Look, that is, that is hard to describe. There's some slightly acidulous notes coming on now, very slightly. And also uh, some yellow element, yellow peaches, maybe some quince. So the fruits are very, everything is melted. So everything is um, beautifully integrated. The fruits, some heady flowers, I cannot really distinguish which ones some green elements vegetal elements we say in french vegetal some you know walking in the, in in the forest after some rain so there's some mossy elements mushrooms and all the jazz now you're walking there with your 
leather boots with your leather jacket something like that it's some warm things um, so yeah it is a comp very complex whiskey it's a very uh, well shall i say autumnal whiskey so it's almost a perfect time now this is super beautiful uh, even with um, the nose with water is awesome as well this is one of the best Benry I, I, I came across honestly uh, if you put aside the old vintages 30 years old plus whiskies that obviously much more expensive and for some very uh, impressive this one when it was out at around 90 euros even and uh, the price I paid even more super bargain and beautiful uh, beautiful value one of the best Benry I've ever made uh, I put it uh, aside to the Authenticus, 21 years old. Uh, I don't have it, so unfortunately cannot compare them face to face. But they're, I will say, same level with maybe more intensity here even. So this is no less than 93 out of 100 for me. Uh, so beautiful, uh, accomplished whiskey, beautiful creation from... Uh, Billy Walker and yeah really uh, great great whiskey if you can find it grab it cheers Langeva, Santé and all that jazz to everyone hope you like the video thumbs up etc if you like it thanks follow me new followers etc uh, and uh, next time you will see another Ben Riach that's on the table reviewed I let you guess which one uh and um, yeah stay tuned for the next review thank you so much bye bye